And a good morning to you too, world. Today we are back on the GB. I'm not exactly sure how much we're gonna get done, but I'm gonna do my best. Uh, I've already covered some things this morning that, uh, well, you know, I've kind of covered already. <laughs> don't take offense, but I don't feel like I should be redundant within my own build. Uh, I've covered laying up epoxy. I've covered uh, tightening the uh, the film covering. So I'll show you what I've got here. The horizontal stabilizer is already installed and the epoxy is curing. Just follow the plans. I had installed the wing and measured the tips of the H-Dab to the tip of the aileron. That way you measure both sides, you make sure that it's square, uh, and then you apply epoxy, and then you apply epoxy from the inside. And you do remove some of the covering from the root of the H-Dab, and that way the epoxy is going to cure. I've also put a little bit of Gorilla Glue. I noticed some of the formers on the inside of the fuselage weren't entirely stuck to the fiberglass. So I went ahead and used some Gorilla Glue to just fill those voids and make sure that everything is nice and secure. Uh, so from there, right now, I'm gonna move on to doing some push rods and it's kind of boring and tedious work, but I feel like it's worth it because some of you may have not done push rods like these before. They're wood with metal ends, so I'm gonna cover how to do that and let's get started. So the uh, push rods have been done for the interior. Uh, the reason that we do this, I've seen this done in other models. For those who don't know, we're trying to get a really long push rod that's not going to have any support on the inside. So in order to do that, you need a fairly stiff push rod that's not going to flex. Also, we're trying to keep things light, so wood is the natural answer. So we have these wooden dowels. We cross drilled a hole and then bent the end of the rod and pushed it through, put on a little bit of CA with uh, uh, some sh shrink tube, and we've got a clevis on one end that will connect to our control surface, and the other end that is straight, and we will connect that directly to our servo. So uh, just a little tip, if you ever need some sort of push rod that is gonna be really long and you don't want it to flex too much, uh, this is how you do it. All right, so let's move on to something else. So I went ahead and installed the trays uh, into the fuselage. Oh, better angle. There we go. Uh, and the reason I did that off camera is because applying glue to wood and wood to fuselage. Uh, you, you get my point. So <laughs> uh, 
Um, mostly because, uh, you know, bonding wood to fiberglass is a little bit tricky sometimes. And the reason I say that is because it's the wood is rigid and the, uh, the fiberglass is semi-rigid. So sometimes using like a medium CA works and sometimes you just got to use like something that feels like epoxy or Gorilla Glue. And in this case, I'm using Gorilla Glue because it's a little bit lighter and uh, it foams up and fills gaps better. So uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I am waiting on uh, some of the glue to dry, but as I do that, I'm going to work on installing servos and control rods. So let's get this party started. I, I, I got to be a little bit creative for filming the inside of the fuselage. So uh, prepare for a new angle that uh, hopefully you're not afraid of heights. Alright, so uh, the uh, rudder has been installed, <laughs> not without some hiccups. Had some hiccups along the way with some servos too, uh, some servo stuff, but was able to work through those issues. Uh, so everything else from this point on is repeat. I'm going to install the elevators and uh, the uh, control rods, I'll connect those too. So everything else is repeatable. Uh, from what I've done already. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and report back when I'm done. All right. So that's going to do it for this building session. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the content today. I know a lot of things were repetitious, but that's the way things go in building. You learn one technique and you use it over and over and over again. So today we've been able to get the entire back end <laughs> uh, situated. I've got the control horns and rods all connected on the inside to the servos and I decided to go ahead and put the wings on uh, because up next is what I'm going to do tomorrow. And I, as it is right now, I could try to fly it, but I, number one, I haven't checked the CG. Uh, and number two, I need a battery hatch and uh, I, I, I need a battery bay. <laughs> Not sure where to put it just yet. Uh, I have a good idea, but uh, that's for another time. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me here in my shop. Do hope that uh, you re return again and enjoy more building and some of my building techniques. And until then, enjoy this beautiful flying work of art.